Do you want to learn how to make the Olive Garden Venetian Sunset Cocktail? Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this fantastic cocktail. It's light, it's sweet, and refreshing. First thing we have is Asti. This is a Italian sparkling wine. It can be a little bit sweet. Don't spend a lot of money on this simply because we're mixing it with grenadine and pineapple juice and you don't want to pay for what you're not going to be able to taste. So grab something relatively inexpensive and that'll work. We're going to use pineapple juice. I love to buy pineapple juice in these small cans here. It's perfect for cocktails. And finally, we're going to need some grenadine. Grenadine is actually made with pomegranate and it offers a really nice flavor. Finally, we're going to garnish with some orange slices and some cherries. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to fill up our glasses halfway with some ice. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our Asti. You're gonna add about four ounces of Asti to each glass. Next, add about an ounce of pineapple juice to each glass. And finally, we're gonna add our grenadine. Now we're gonna pour this over the back of the spoon so it has a beautiful color. Finally, let's go ahead and garnish with some oranges. And we can add some maraschino cherries. Okay, so let's add a straw and give this a taste. Mmm. Okay, this is wonderfully sweet. The Asti's in there, the pineapple really complements this. And a little touch of grenadine adds a little bit of tang to it. This is a great cocktail. For people that don't want to drink something that tastes very booze forward, this is great for a brunch or even um, a shower, like a wedding shower or something like that. Fantastic gateway into enjoying cocktails. I hope you give this recipe a try for the Olive Garden Venetian Sunset. If you would, drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for watching.